Graduates tell you that they went to Maine West and they love it. Our kids will openly tell people how much they love their school. I'm really excited about the referendum and I feel so proud and humbled to be here at this moment in time because I've really observed just how intensely connected kids and families are to this space. There's so much tradition here. The whole community unites around the fact that our kids make us proud. And I love the idea that they're gonna make us proud in spaces that make us proud too. Security was definitely one of the priorities identified in the planning stages of the referendum, and that's one of the promises that we made. So we will have locking system in place. A, a visitor would come in, provide ID through a bank teller's drawer to security behind, and then security could buzz them in. Beneath the cafeteria is an area that's affectionately known as the pit that has an old indoor track they use it for drills, they use it for instruction. We have a lot of our varsity athletes working out down here. The sight lines aren't very good. The new design would completely overhaul that space. This whole ceiling above us is going to be cut away and it's going to be a two-tier atrium student commons. The bookstore will come down here, the Chrome Depot will come down here. Everything being kind of refinished and brightened and cleaned up. You can't even recognize what this is going to be. I, don't, I can't get my head around it completely. We're also doing the dining spaces, so about halfway. That's all still going to be the serving area. And we'll have seating, some seating here, but then most of it will be downstairs. The kids really are the center of the school. The things that they need, or the things that we need to get for them and provide for them, are right at the center. We will have student services spaces that people can really access. Right now, we have student services on one side of the hallway and the deans on the other. So if you go into the dean's office, it's kind of visible that you're there because you've done something. But they're all moving into one whole department that's going to be called the Department of Student and Family Services. There are so many different ways that we need to support students and families, and they can all happen in that place. The original concept of the building had each wing was a house. So there was a gym at the end of each wing. We still have these wing gyms at the ends of those spokes, but the B wing is going to be transformed into usable space on two floors. The first floor into department space, and then there will be an upstairs, and that's where we have our multi-tiered system of supports. It's a really concerted effort to give kids the support they need to be successful. Some kids will need a little bit more or a little bit different and the C-Wing will be transformed into some studio space for visual arts. It's an honor to be a part of the arrival of the field house that will bring to fruition an effort that the city of Des Plaines has wanted and is, is finally going to be here. So for a few decades of Maine West students and families, this is now a reality. It's been a nice vision for a while. There's a six lane track, two competition and then practice courts, batting cages, easier, transitions among the PE department. Security will be enhanced when all of our athletic events can happen in the same space and we can just kind of close that off. So we're definitely going to have to refurbish the pool which will mean taking the deck all along the rim and raise the deck so that we can make the pool deeper. Bringing these kids into the world is everybody's business and what I love about the referendum building design is that it puts the kids right at the heart of the building and it's really intentional about making sure that our kids are connected and that's really a defining feature of this school. Our kids are connected to each other and they're connected to us.